The Tosefta Jewish Babylonian Aramaic Tusped, supplement edition is a compilation of the Jewish oral law from the late 2nd century, the period of the Mishnah. Topic overview In many ways, the Tosefta acts as a supplement to the Mishnah. Tosefta means supplement, addition. The Mishnah Hebrew, Menach is the basic compilation of the oral law of Judaism. According to the tradition, it was compiled in 189 CE. The Tosefta closely corresponds to the Mishnah, with the same divisions for Sederim, orders, and Masekot, tractates. It is mainly written in Mishnaic Hebrew, with some Aramaic. At times the text of the Tosefta agrees nearly verbatim with the Mishnah. At others there are significant differences. The Tosefta often attributes laws that are anonymous in the Mishnah to name Tanaim. It also augments the Mishnah with additional glosses and discussions. It offers additional Agadic and Midrashic material, and it sometimes contradicts the Mishnah in the ruling of Jewish law, or in attributing in whose name a law was stated. Topic. Origins. According to rabbinic tradition, the Tosefta was redacted by rabbis Hayya and Oshea, a student of Hayya. Whereas the Mishnah was considered authoritative, the Tosefta was supplementary. The Talmud often utilizes the traditions found in the Tosefta to examine the text of the Mishnah. The traditional view is that the Tosefta should be dated to a period concurrent with or shortly after the redaction of the Mishnah. This view presupposes that the Tosefta was produced in order to record variant material not included in the Mishnah. Modern scholarship can be roughly divided into two camps. Some, such as Jacob N. Epstein theorize that the Tosefta as we have it developed from a proto-Tosefta recension which formed much of the basis for later Amoric debate. Others, such as Hanok Albeck, theorize that the Tosefta is a later compendium of several Baraito collections which were in use during the Amoric period. More recent scholarship, such as that of Yaakov Elman, concludes that since the Tosefta, as we know it, must be dated linguistically as an example of Middle Hebrew 1, it was most likely compiled in early Amoric times from oral transmission of Baraito. Professor Shama Friedman, has found that the Tosefta draws on relatively early Tanaitic source material and that parts of the Tosefta predate the Mishnah. Albertina Houtman and colleagues theorize that while the Mishnah was compiled in order to establish an authoritative text on Halakhic tradition, a more conservative party opposed the exclusion of the rest of tradition and produced the Tosefta to avoid the impression that the written Mishnah was equivalent to the entire oral Torah. The original intention was that the two texts would be viewed on equal standing, but the succinctness of the Mishnah and the power and influence of Yehuda HaNasi made it more popular among most students of tradition. Ultimately, the state of the source material is such to allow divergent opinions to exist. These opinions serve to show the difficulties in establishing a clear picture of the origins of the Tosefta. Tosefta's authority Rabbi Sharira Gaon 987 CE, in a letter written to the heads of the Jewish community in Kairouan, Tunisia, has disclosed somewhat about the authority of the Tosefta in relation to the Mishnah. There, he writes, We do not follow the opinion of Ar Hayya, as expressed in Abaraida, if he disputes with Rebbe Yehuda ha -Nasi. For example, let us suppose that a certain halacha had originally been a matter of dispute between R. Mayer and R. Yossi, but Rebbe Yehuda ha -Nasi decided to record in the Mishnah only R. Mayer's opinion anonymously. Had R. Hayya then come along, in the Tosefta, and stated that the halacha had been originally a matter of dispute, even though it has now been reported anonymously, we follow the Mishnah rather than take up the episode which places the rabbis at variance. Whenever R. Mayer and R. Yossi disagree, the halacha follows R. Yossi. Nevertheless, since in the Mishnah, Rebbe Yehuda ha -Nasi mentioned only R. Mayer's opinion, we follow R. Mayer. Rabbi Sharira Gaon then brings down the reverse of this example. Or, let us suppose that Rebbe Yehuda ha -Nasi in the Mishnah records a dispute between R. Mayer and R. Yossi. However, R. Hayya prefers R. Mayer's argument, and therefore records it in a Baraita without mentioning R. Yossi's opposing view. In such a case, we do not accept R. Hayya's decision. Topic. Manuscripts, editions, commentaries Topic. Manuscripts 
Three manuscripts exist of the Tosefta, they are Vienna, late 13th century, Österreichische Nationalbibliothek Kod Hebr. 20, the only complete manuscript. Erfurt, 12th century, Berlin, Staatsbibliothek Prussischer Kulturbesitz or, Foll, 1220, and London, 15th century, London, British Library ad, 27296, contains Seder mode only. The Adidio Princeps was printed in Venice in 1521 as an addendum to Isaac Alphysi's Halakot. All four of these sources, together with many Geniza fragments, have been published online by Bar Elon University in the form of a searchable database. Topic: Editions. Two critical editions have been published. The first was that of Moses Samuel Zuckermandel in 1882, which relied heavily on the Erfurt manuscript of the Tosefta. Zuckermandel's work has been characterized as a great step forward for its time. This edition was reprinted in 1970 by Rabbi Saul Lieberman, with additional notes and corrections. In 1955, Saul Lieberman first began publishing his monumental Tosefta Ki Feshuda. Between 1955 and 1973, ten volumes of the new edition were published, representing the text and the commentaries on the entire orders of Zerim, Mod, and Nashim. In 1988, three volumes were published posthumously on the order of Nezikin, including tractates Bava Kama, Bava Metzia, and Bava Basra. Lieberman's work has been called the pinnacle of modern Tosefta studies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commentaries. Major commentaries on the Tosefta include those by David Pardo, Chaste David, originally published in Livorno 1776, and printed in editions of the Vilna Shas. Yehezkel Abramski, Hazan Yehezkel 24 volumes, 1925–1975 in Hebrew. Saul Lieberman, Tosafet Rishonim, Jerusalem 1937. Jacob Neusner and his pupils in a series called A History of the Mishnake Law, 1978–87, Topic. Translations The Tosefta has been translated into English by Rabbi Jacob Neusner and his students in the commentary cited above, also published separately as the Tosefta, translated from the Hebrew 6 vols, 1977–86. Eli Gurevich's English translation and detailed commentary on the Tosefta is in the progress of being written. It can be downloaded for free from his website http colon slash slash www.toseftonline.org slash Topic See also Oral Law Mishnah Amaraim Baraita Talmud Gemara Rabbinic Literature Halakha Old Synagogue Erfurt. Topic Notes Topic External Links TOSEFTA in the Jewish Encyclopedia Tosefta in the Catholic Encyclopedia Tosefta Online Org, a new free English translation, commentary and edited Hebrew text of the Tosefta, as well as MP3 shirim lectures and various commentaries available for free download Full text at Meccan Mamre Treasury of Talmudic Manuscripts, Jewish National and University Library Sacred Texts, gives a more detailed explanation of the origins of the Tosefta in relation to the rest of the Mishnah.